Okay, so I just finished my second uh, type of palm cooling testing. Uh, so the first time I tested this, I did uh, seven rounds of a seated strict press, and every round I went to failure, and I took three minutes between the rounds. Um, the first day I did it with no palm cooling, and the very next day I did the same seven rounds, three minutes between, with palm cooling during my rest periods, and I had a 15% improvement so I went from 128 reps on day one to 150 reps on day two, when arguably I probably should have been more fatigued. And honestly, mentally, I didn't even want to do it because it was so hard uh, to go to failure for seven reps in a, for seven sets in a row. Uh, today, I just finished my second round of testing. And what I did here is I changed it up a little bit. So I did a seated row and I held myself to a strict standard of being able to touch my knuckles to my ribs on every rep, okay? So I did 20 reps of those per set, and then immediately into 20 squat jumps to get my heart rate and temperature rising. And then I took all just a one minute break in between. And so I did, um, basically I went until I could no longer touch my thumbs to my ribs. So every round I did 20, and then I stopped on the round that where I could no longer touch my knuckles to my ribs uh, to complete that standard standardized rep. So with the palm cooling, I was able to get 10 rounds plus 19. So I failed on the 20th rep of the 11th round. So that was a score of 219 reps before I failed. Um, again, that was with a one minute break. Uh, without the palm cooling, so that was with the palm cooling, without the palm cooling, which is kind of blowing my mind right now, I was able to complete seven rounds only and 18 reps. Uh, before I failed. So a pretty significant difference of almost three rounds. So that's like a 61 rep difference before failure. So that was pretty, um, pretty impressive for me. Seems with like a little bit less rep rest and also doing an um, exercise that got my heart rate and temperature up. For me, that cooling effect was even greater. Uh, so I'll put up the numbers, the percentages. So, so far so good with the palm cooling technique seems to be boosting my performance um, in a pretty good way, a pretty significant way.